Well, we are in uh, West Algeria. We are in the wilaya of Temsen. It's uh, one part of Algeria where the Islam is very strong, and it's uh, where my family grew up, and where is 80% uh, of my family living. All the time when I'm traveling, it's all around breakdance, and here they know nothing about breakdance. It's so different, and it's so natural and traditional. That's why I love to come here and chill there. When I came here, like, I forget I'm a b-boy and I'm a dancer. I just, I'm like, Arabic people. When I want to buy something, uh, anything it is, like clothes or food or anything, I, have, I, I need to go to the market. The way of life is so different, it's so simple here. It's like uh, I came to another world, you know? It's like my world with the, my family, my roots, you know? From Algeria, man. When I came to Algeria, the first stop I want to do is go to the mountain because it's where my, my fathers grew up. So now I want to go meet two of my cousins because uh, they're very good in hunting. And my father was hunting before he moved to France. I want to learn and, you know, they give me a practice and we will make a target session. I will see if I'm good or not. <laughs> I like it because it's, uh, you know, it's not the first time I shoot with a gun and stuff, but uh, here with my cousins in the place where my father was making it before, it's like uh, something very important for me. I tried three times to make it. The two first I was like out of the target, but the last one, you know, my, my cousins give me motivation and I want to make them proud, you know, and I show them like I can make it. <laughs> now we go to the coffee with one of my uncle and I think like my uncle is waiting for me with a few cousins of mine and maybe I will see some other cousins on the way because he's all the time like that here. Big family, I cannot give you a number because Really, maybe more than 200, for real. All the time I meet new people, it's the cousin of my cousins, you know? Arabic people, we are all one family. We are a thousand cousins. <laughs> when I was sitting in the coffee, at first it was only me and some of my cousins. But after, step by step, a few kids came and watched who is that guy. They recognize me, you know? Like, they recognize me because they saw me on the phone, on the computer, like from the video clip. So after that, it was like Arabic call. Someone tells to someone. Lots of kids from the village came, want to be with me, want to walk and stay with me, you know? So even in Algeria, I cannot really forget I'm a b-boy. It goes with me everywhere I go. It's great, like because for them I'll, I'm like a role model, you know, like uh, an example to, to follow. But it can also be exhausting because you are never alone. When I come to Algeria, I really want to spend time focusing on my life outside of b-boying. So it's really hard to find that balance. <laughs> شوبيونات جو مود نفواياجي نروح في كل البلادات نعطي لي ستاج نعلمهم كيفاش يرقصوا كاع صح صح بصح كون تقرر لي عيان راني نروحي في اللوتيل وفي الطياره في المطار بروحي راني وحش لا فامي تاعي صحابو على بالنا حتى حنا نتوحشوك حتى حنا نتوحشوك مي بصح ما تنساش بلي راك تمثلنا راك تمثل الجزائر راك تفيد الاعلام تاع البلاد لازم ما تكرهش لا حدا ما تكرهش لازم تكمل 
لا قلت لكم ان شاء الله كي راني غوفو سانتي البلاد انا نفرح ثاني كي نشوفكم انت ولد عمتي وكاع صح صح كاع راهم فرحانين انا ثاني نفرح وحنا ماذا بينا ماذا بينا تكون تكون انت هو الشامبيون دي موند على العام كامل على الظهر ان شاء الله تكون لازم تاك لو طوب دائما هذه هي فون اي واز سيتينغ ان ذا كوفي ذا ميير اوف ذا ذا سيتي Hurt, I, uh, I'm here, so that's why he came himself to the coffee. He walked in the street and he said, "Come on, come to my office. I have to talk to you." And I'm very happy because it's something big to me, because it's the village of my mother. So it's, it's good, you know. صافا لاباس كون جات البلاد العام وي لاباس الحمد لله يطوى صافا الحمد لله اللهم صل على النبي ديروا تورني هنا لا راني مشيت لافامي وكاع وفتهم سلام وريهم كي داير عن يوسف وين سكن مرحبا بكم ذا ماي اوفيس ذا ماي جيف مي ا نايس ويلكم اي جيف مي ا جيفت الجزائريان فلاغ فور مي هيز هوم اوفيس يو نو اي توك ات اواي اند جيف ات تو مي And for me, it's something important because it's like you are the ambassador of the of the country and the city. I had a alam ta al alam. You know, mamu ta al beladiya. We'll be confi. Inshallah, it's gonna be a good trip. Inshallah. Aye. 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 After that, he gave me a, a Quran. It's the holy book of Muslim people, you know, and I'm very proud of it because, like, I represent Muslim people in the good way, you know, not the the way the the media want to show us. So I'm very proud because he gave me a, a holy book and a big flag. <laughs> But he put it on my back and he said, "Now you have to walk in the street of the village." with it and represent and show you like you are you are the world champion and you from here you know Algerian people in general they are so proud you know they are so proud like and for example like one of them it's world champs and I came back uh, here to the country meet them chill with them they are so happy for me and they so welcome people you know they all know I'm a world champion and represent Algeria And all the time when I meet people, they say, I, "Yo, I saw you on TV. I'm so proud of you." So, it's cool people. Zip. <laughs> <laughs>